In 2015, doctors told John Tesh to get his affairs in order. He had only 18 to 24 months to live. Today, John is cancer-free and very much alive. John Tesh is an Emmy Award-winning journalist, broadcaster, composer, and concert pianist. Even though he's known great success, his life hasn't been easy. As a stage three cancer survivor who was told he only had months to live, Tesh leaned heavily on prayer and the healing power of God's word to survive. Now cancer-free, his desire to help others facing hardship led him to create Tesh TV, which offers faith-based content 24-7. is flowing in my bloodstream. John Tesh joins us now. And John, we welcome you back to the 700 Club. It's good to see you again. Walk us back to 2015. It, you're told you only have months to live, which is shocking news. How did you and Connie respond to that? Uh, it was um, it, it was like a brick to the head. Um, it was, yeah, I mean, everything just stopped. Um, and I, we had uh, this remarkable life, uh, you know, a, a radio show that reached millions of people every week, uh, you know, a job that I love, purpose, and kids and grandkids, everybody healthy. And then it was a routine exam. And it basically was a rare form of prostate cancer that, that didn't make any, any blood markers. So in other words, people who know prostate cancer know that when a man gets his PSA tested and it's low, like mine was 0.4 for five years, it's like, well, there's no problem. And then, and then they, um, they did the, uh, the digital exam and it was like, wait, there's something, there's something different here, John. It's something different in two weeks ended up being, uh, you know, a biopsy and, and sonogram and all the rest of that. And it was just like, this is, an, this is a very aggressive form of prostate cancer and, and, and uh, we're not even sure if we can operate on this. And so it was, yeah, uh, the doctor patted Connie on the, uh, my wife Connie on the, on the back and said, uh, get your affairs in order. And so everything stopped. And I, I instantly became, this is really important too, because I, I instantly became a cancer patient. It was like, okay, I'm going to get my affairs in order. This is what the doctor said. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get insurance. I'm going to figure out who's going to do the radio show. And so I basically just spoke death over myself. And, uh, and it, was, it, was a, it was a horrible time for about 48 hours. But you beat the cancer then. And then it returns in 2020. That had to be so discouraging and even... Even frightening, here we go again. What did you yeah. learn about the power and the healing in God's word? Yeah, I mean, I would say that, uh, it, that the most powerful, two, two powerful scriptures that Connie and I discovered at the hands of a, of a man who's a, this great teacher at, at Karis Bible School, his name is Andrew Womack, and there are other teachers there at the school, Barry Bennett, and a lot of their videos are online. And a friend of ours, uh, Cha Cha Sandoval, who's uh, you know in 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 Los Angeles, she's a, a stunt woman. You know, everybody everybody's either that or an actor, right? And she said, "Oh, there's a here's a CD. You should listen to this." I'm like, I, I you know, and when somebody feel, uh, figures out you have quote terminal cancer, everybody wants to hand you a CD or a book. And so I listened to this, and all of a sudden it was like, you know, I grew up as a Methodist, and I I must have missed Mark 11:23. Because that's what this uh, uh, that, that's what this message was about. It was whoever speaks to this mountain uh, and says, you know, removed and and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will be done. Jesus speaking will have whatever he says. Therefore, whatever you ask when you pray, believe that you already receive it and you will have it. And then I landed on on Proverbs eighteen twenty one, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And I realized that I was speaking death over myself. And so. With, with the help of doctors, but also with the belief that the true nature of God is healing and health and God wanted me to be, to be well, everything changed. I was able to see myself, I still can see myself as a 94 year old. You know, I visualize that uh, every single day and understanding that there are scriptures in the Bible that when Jesus went to the cross, he not only took our sins, he took our griefs and sorrows, he took our sicknesses and so, uh, when I realized that, when, when Connie and I got the full revelation of what was in the Bible and the promise of healing, then we were able to use the dual modalities of, of the promise of the Word of God and also the, uh, the, the blessings and the mercies of the, of the doctors that we were dealing with. Boy, tell us why you launched Tesh TV in the aftermath of all of that. 
It's a lot of work. You know, um, yeah, yeah. It, it was one of the things I realized was that I needed to change. I need. Uh, I'm a big fan of Navy SEALs, right? And the way that and the way they win their morning, and I, and 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 the way they they win their day and their and their their process. And so, as sick as I was going through through chemo and and androgen deprivation therapy and and, and a major surgery, I just always had an earbud in. Uh, listening to to speeches on, on on YouTube, not only healing speeches, but just speeches of of productivity and getting up in the morning and just getting fired up and music. And so that that process, including just sitting here at the piano and playing and reciting scripture, was 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 a big part of my of my healing. And so when I got on the other side of that, I said, you know, why don't I why don't I share that? I have all of these recordings. And so I thought the the best thing to do. Would be to to create an app to get, create a 24/7 program where people just if they're having a bad morning, having a bad day, they could renew your, their mind, and that was a big part of it too. Was Romans 12:2 was be transformed by the renewing of your mind, and so that's what it is. It's a 24/7. You can dip in at any time, and you can be blessed by by prayers, by by uh, speeches from from healing uh, pastors, and 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 um, and and you can renew your mind instantly. With, and sorry about the name, Tesh TV. <laughs> it wasn't entirely my idea, but we couldn't come up with anything else. But that's the, the whole idea is just the tools that I used to get healed are right there now uh, online. And, and now you have this, these you know, opportunities to, to plug into these types of things digitally. Well, sounds like something we all could use on a regular basis. How do you, how do you access this, John? Yeah, it's just Tesh TV, it's just one word, Tesh TV, T-E-S-H, Tesh TV, uh, dot com. And again, the whole, the whole idea is that, it, well, it, these days, we're, more than ever, we, we need to listen to what Paul said and to renew our minds uh, because there's so much coming at us, obviously. Well, what concerts do you have planned coming up? Because I know that's, you know, people have seen you in concert over the years. Everybody has just enjoyed that so much. Are you out traveling again? Are you doing concerts? Or are you strictly doing the yes. podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we do it as a family. My son, Gib, uh, he's, uh, he, he's a musician and also a comedian. And, and so he comes out on stage with us. And, and my daughter, Prima, who is a uh, trained ballerina and, and a modern dancer, she dances with us. And, and then Connie is the uh, producer of, of it all. So we're like, I guess it's the Partridge family. But yeah, we have uh, on the website, there's, there's, uh, there's uh, there are lots of uh, concerts that we're putting in these days. And that's and that's an interesting thing too, Terry, where it's like, you know, back in the day, I used to always try to make the turn from, you know, playing piano to, oh, let me just share my faith with you. And people would be like, well, we didn't come for that, John. <laughs> but when you have it, I, I, I don't believe that God put sickness on me, but when you, I don't miss a concert, I don't end a concert without giving a testimony, just, just like this. And at the end of the show, there are hundreds of people in the lobby who so say, can you just tell me more about this? And so I realized that this is, this is my ministry, is not to give up, but to, but to fight, but also to include people in that fight in the process. Well, I, I think many people come not just to listen to your music and to hear you, you sing, but because you are inspiring. And you always have been, even before you were dealing with any of this health stuff, you always were. So kudos to you. I want people to know they can get more information on Tesh TV. Just log on to CBN.com. Uh, hope that goes really, really well for all of you, John. And thanks for being with us again today. Yeah, and I should mention it's free, you know, <laughs> anytime you want to share uh, because, um, you know, it was free for me. And so it's free for everybody else. And Terry, it's so, it's so great to see you again. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Lovely to see you too. Blessings to you and Connie.